A Hereford manager Peter Beadle after that loss to Farnborough. What's your reaction to that defeat? Oh, we should be disappointed. Of course we are. Um, you know, but there's no excuses. I think it was probably just just one game too far. Maybe we've had a lot of games, a lot of travelling. Obviously, put a big effort into Saturday. Um, of course, we've had we've had the disruption with James and a few injuries today. So, uh, but that shouldn't be. A, that's not an excuse. We just we just didn't get get going. And then obviously, you know, we get the sending off just before half time. And then we talked at half time about being tight and solid for 10 minutes and play our way into the game. And a minute into the second half, we give away such a poor goal. You know, sort of back to our old ways a little bit, giving away such a poor goal. And then we huffed and puffed. I mean, they never cause us any problems. They never cause us any real threat, apart from a few little bits and bits, but nothing that I would cause a major threat. So, you know, in general, you know, it was, it was just one of them days, I think. But we weren't, we weren't at it, you know, and we weren't at it. And, you know, like I said, maybe, maybe it was just one game too far, maybe. So obviously we were expecting Gary and Preen to be out, but mm. you're saying that Calvin Dinsley and Kiln Rafael are injured as well? Well, Calvin came off 10 minutes into the game on Saturday, so of course he's injured. Yeah, he's got a hamstring, so, so he's going to be a couple of weeks. Um, Keon was already playing with a sore ankle, but, but he took another whack on. He's just under his knee, so he's got a little bit of swing on his knee and we're struggling to bend it. So, like I said, but we're, we've got plenty of, you know, plenty of ability on the squad. Plenty, you know, there's plenty of ability on there and some good players in there and we've changed the team. Like I said, Pablo's come in, Page has come in, so, you know, no problem there. Dan Preston's come in and we've tried a little bit with three at the back and at times it looked okay and other times it looked a little bit shaky but it's going to look a little bit shaky when we haven't worked on it over a great deal but um but just just overall just disappointing performance a uh, big turning point uh, mike simmons being sent off how did you see it yeah it's two yellow cards it's a foul you know what? there's no excuses it's a foul I, I don't know why he made the challenge because the keeper had the ball in his hand so i don't understand why he's made the challenge you know players have their moments their moments of madness when they you know it happens uh, but there's no excuses for it. I don't understand what his thought process was and obviously it's put us under pressure on the back foot at the start of the second half. But again, we didn't defend the goal at all well. It was a, you know, one header back, you know, it's a long ball over the top, Jack completely misses it and the lad goes in and scores it. So, uh, so again, so no excuses. The sending off was, it, was what it was. Um, but you know, we, have to, we have to cope with that and get on with it. But, but like I said, in a game of, of very few chances, a bit like Slough, we didn't play particularly well. So it was you know, very reminiscent of Slough on a, couple, a, few, well, a good while ago. Um, and let's just hope that we get the reaction to bounce back like we did after Slough. We bounced back after Slough and, and put some good results together and some good performances. But today, like I said, the performance wasn't quite right. It wasn't there. Because you had the two wing backs out there. You, it, it, normally, you'd expect them to bomb on. It didn't, it didn't quite happen. No, because we, you know, for whatever reason, it didn't, it didn't click tonight. I mean, you know, again, like I said, they didn't cause us any real threats. We wanted them to bomb on. We weren't telling them not to bomb on. Um, but we just couldn't, we didn't, you know, it wasn't fluent enough, uh, you know, we'd, we didn't get balls in the pockets, we wanted Pablo to play in that little pocket that he likes to play in, but he didn't get on the ball enough, and like I said, but that wasn't, you know, it wasn't his fault as such, it was just, it was just one of them games, you know, it happens, we, you know, we've been on a great run, and we've had some fantastic results, and some fantastic performances, but, but tonight wasn't one of them, but like I said, maybe, maybe it was just one game too far, the boys never gave up, they showed good character, good heart, and they got, you know, they kept going right to the very end, but, but we lacked that little bit of quality in the final third what could you tell us more about the James Bowen uh, move obviously, obviously it came in last week uh, yeah they put seven days in last Monday for him um, obviously we knew that that was that was the case um, and James rang me this morning and, and said that he'd spoken to them and uh, and he was going to go to, to Solihull it's on his doorstep um, I didn't agree with why these reasons as to why he was going to go there but that's like I said his choice I can't stop him um, obviously we're sad to see him go but, but like I said and obviously you know the day of a game it's, it's always going to be difficult but, but it is what it is and as I said we've still got good enough players we still got good enough players and on a good day we'd have got a decent performance and a much better result out of the game today but like I said today wasn't to be our night and maybe it's maybe it's just what we needed after everything that happened over the weekend maybe it's just that little bit of grounding that we need to kick on again Left back is a difficult slot to, to fulfil yeah. um, op options out there yeah, of course. Yeah, we're we're making inquiries as we speak, and we've made a few inquiries today. Um, so we've we've got a couple that we we'd like to speak to, but obviously it, that process takes a little bit of time. So, but hopefully, you know, if we can't do something, you know, uh, in the next couple of days, then we might look to do a loan and bring in a proper left back, you know, before the weekend. But we'll see. We'll see. As I said, you know, like I said, we haven't we haven't played particularly well tonight. But we but but that wasn't due to to anything as in anyone's fault. I think it was just just one of them games. And like I said, we couldn't get going. Very similar to Slough. Uh, very frustrating for us and the players and the supporters. Very frustrating, but like I said, but maybe, maybe it's a in a in a, 
sick evil way it's maybe a good thing well maybe it is maybe like i said it brings people down to earth of a bump you know you know you're not unbeatable you're not untouchable so we got to make sure we we do all the right things this week and get ready for saturday thanks for time no problem